Dear students, this is the last practical that is practical number 10. Interpretation of topo sheet with the help of transportation and communication for standard 12th for science as well as art students in geography subject. Now, uh, since two practicals that is practical number 8 and practical number 9, we are st constantly studying about the topo sheet. I have already told you that uh, how you are going to download the topo sheet, from where you are going to get the topo sheet and what are the procedures to be followed. Okay, kindly watch uh, the practical number 8, practical number 9 uh, before doing practical number 10. So let us start with it. The aim of this practical is what? Uh, the aim is to find different means of transportation. Now, means of transportation are of how many types? We have the transportation of waterways, airways, roadways. So, these are all the means of transportation by, uh, by which the transportation occurs. And the second is communication. Now, what is communication? Whenever we communicate with each other, we take the help of emails, we take the help of mobile phones, we take the help of laptop. Okay. So, these internet. So, all these are the communication mediums by which a person interacts with other person. Okay. So, this is the aim. The second aim is to identify the relationship between physical factors and transportation. Now, we all know that really physical factors are definitely going to affect the transportation system. If the surface is plain, you can see uh, the transportation is going on very nicely. You can construct the roads properly. You can construct the airports properly. The railway route also can be constructed very nicely. But if the surface is mountainous, if there is some hilly terrain, then at that time you can see that the transportation medium is not proper. Okay. You cannot uh, build a railway track on the mountain. You cannot build any other roadways properly on the mountain okay so there are so many obstacles which comes when the physical factor is not supporting in this case so here we are going to understand the role of transportation as well as communication in this region so these are the three aims which we are going to see in this practical again uh, the introductory part is again the same in this topo sheet we are going to see about the relief drainage vegetation and human settlements what are the material required is the scale. You require the topo sheet scale. So we have to download the topo sheet from this particular website. The process is already told to you. Okay. And I have already uh, downloaded it. Now what are the steps which we have to follow it? Okay. Now the steps which we have to follow are as follows. Once again, I'll tell you when you click on this website, you will be redirected to such type of page where you have to do the login. You have to enter your mobile number. After entering your mobile number, you need to give your uh, uh, OTP in it. After that, you are uh, able to set the password and username. And then henceforth, you can just open with the help of password and username. So This is how you are going to do it. Okay. And now uh, we'll see the procedure. The procedure is like uh, after looking at the topo sheet. Now, basically, when you look at the topo sheet, it appears like this. Okay. So looking at this, you can see uh, all the things are available here. So this is a conventional symbols chart where you can see here you can have roads, metal roads according to its importance. Express highway. Uh, then we have with bridge. If the highway is with bridge, then you can see this type of symbol. Then with distance stone, this type of symbol. Okay. You have some conventional signs for airports too. Okay. So you can see your airdromes, tourist site. Okay. So like that, uh, the modes of communications are given to you. And by that, you can judge what type of communication or mode of communication is utilized in Mirzapur. So this is the topo sheet of Mirzapur. You can go through it. It appears like this. Actually, when you uh, view it, it is very, very uh, minute. You just have to zoom it every time to look. For the delicate, delicate things. Okay, you can zoom it how much you want. So, at a time, the whole structure cannot be uh, seen on the screen. 
so what i suggest is first of all you just take a print out of this topo sheet and then you start uh, studying on it okay and then you can interpret the analysis and results based on this topo sheet okay let us move towards the questionary part now so during the questionary part you have to follow some specific steps so you just have to look that under which region what type of transportation and communication is available so if a city is metro city you can have a metro railway line you can have a developed bridges in those cities okay if it is a rural area you cannot see anything much developed in such places so you need to see what is transportation what communication facilities are available whether the internet facility is available or they are using the traditional uh, uh, communication facilities like postman okay so such type of things you need to see next is you just have to go through the railway which are the major railway lines and which cities and towns these railway lines are going to connect that you have to study then you have to study about the highways national highways then state highways so where and which locations uh, do these highways connect that you have to study after that you have to study about the major airports okay so that are the things what you have to study now if there is a presence of river lake dam so you know now these are the water bodies now to come uh, to have a transportation on water bodies you require the water transportation medium like ship boats okay so we all have seen in the uh, map that mirzapur uh, is a city where a ganga crosses okay so uh, definitely you require a waterway of transportation medium then you have a communication like i told you post office is a mode of communication telegraph is a mode of communication dak bungalow jise uh, we call it as dak ghar then rest house police station power supply dispensaries hospitals burial uh, ground graveyard etc so graveyard is what it is a place where all the dead bodies once uh, someone loses his life so uh, such people are buried in some specific place so all these uh, things like temples mosques for uh, forts churches everything can uh, come along with uh, the thing of this practical okay so some places have annual fairs or weekly markets in such cases months or weekdays are mentioned near to that village or that city the teacher should ask the questions in such a way that the student should interpret the transportational aspects okay so we all know that uh, there are some specific days on which the market is at boom okay so you all go and rush and you start uh, doing your shopping at some days the market is closed so that time the transportation is totally uh, very very less as compared to other days so even these are the things which play an important role in transportation okay now let us go uh, through the questionary part so here we have the first question identify two main railway lines in the topo sheet so here we are going to uh, identify the two main railway lines now there are several railway lines out of that you have to identify any two main railway lines so the answer for this is nr main line nr mirzapur okay so these are the two main railway lines which you can see next is second part so <clears throat> the railway lines are near main line and mirzapur second question is name the four railway stations which you can see on the map so on the map uh, the four railway stations out of them we can write like pahara railway station then we have the next is lingara railway station then we have vindhyachal railway station then we have another that is mirzapur okay so these are the uh, railway stations which you can see in the 
map. Okay, these are the four railway stations. Next is third one. Which area has metal roads? Okay, so the metal roads uh, we have already seen in the conventional symbols are given. So Mirzapur has a metal road. So Mirzapur is an area where you can see there is a metal road. Okay, next is the next question, fifth one. Uh, I mean, uh, the fourth one. Which city does National Highway 7 connect? So, National Highway 7 is going to connect which, which cities that we have to write. So, the answer is Varanasi and Madurai. So, this is the answer. Next fifth question is, name the only road crossing the Flatu region in the map. So, only a uh, road which is crossing it is Great Deccan Road. Next, sixth one. Which road runs parallel to the railway connecting the towns of Mirzapur and Vindhyachal? So, there is a metal road which is connecting these two places. Okay. Next, seventh one. Name a major unmetalled road on the Hirari River. Okay. So, the unmetalled road on the Hirari River is Kirna, Kirha and Manau. Next, eighth one question. When can ferries be used? Now, what are the ferries? Ferries is a transportation medium wherever a water body is present. Okay. So, ferries ke saath aap goods uh, transport kar sakte ho, passengers ko transport kar sakte ho, vehicles ko bhi transport kar sakte ho. So, ferries are required wherever the water bodies are present. So, this is what you have to tell. Next is ninth one. Which cities are connected by ferries? So, the cities connected by the ferries are Dingurpatti, then Kanchan Ghat, then Dala Patti, then Barai Ghat. So, these are the places. If you can find out more, you can add some more places to it. Okay. So, these are the places which I have uh, gone through the map and then I have got it. You can also see and uh, write some more places in it. Okay. So, these are some of the places. Okay. Now, uh, the last question of the last practical is here. So, the last question we have is name the place with bridge. Okay. So, uh, you have to uh, name some places where the bridges are present. So, there is a place called Majgavar where the bridge is present. So, this is all about the practical number 10, the last and the final practical of the new syllabus, the updated syllabus for geography. If any query regarding the practicals from the very first practical, that is practical number 1 to practical number 10, you can feel free to give the comment in the comment section. If you like the video, if you understand uh, the content, please like the videos and subscribe the channel. So, thank you for watching.